a training camp shocker. The Jaguars today waived running back Leonard Fournette less than two weeks before the start of the season. The move comes just days after the team's scrimmage in the stadium on Saturday. And News for Jack sports anchor Cole Pepper has more on the surprising decision. Cole, what have you learned about why the Jaguars say goodbye to Fournette? Well, Mary, Doug Marone says it was because Fournette just simply didn't fit what the Jaguars wanted to do. But if you go back a little deeper, the Jaguars really were trying to get rid of Leonard Fournette going back as early as around the draft when they tried to trade him. Back in April, the Jaguars were shopping him all over the league, couldn't get any kind of legitimate offer for him. And again, when they tried to trade him here the last couple of weeks, they couldn't get any kind of draft pick for him. Not a first round pick, not a seventh round pick, nothing. Despite the fact that Fournette was coming off a uh, season when he averaged over 100 yards per game of total offense. The fact the Jaguars couldn't get any value for Fournette tells you how other teams saw his value. And this move, coupled with the Jags trading in Ikengakwe, a move made official today, means that the team only has six starters remaining from the 2017 AFC Championship game team. And news for Jack sports analyst Mark Brunel says he doesn't understand what the long-term plan is for this team. I don't think it's fair to the guys in the locker room. I don't think it's fair to the the Jaguar fans. I just wish we had some some clarity as to what the plan is because it's so bad that do you really expect in in, in three years it's going to be that much better? I do not. And and perhaps I'm being too overly pessimistic, but things do not look good right now. If I don't win enough games or you know do enough with this team, um, you know I don't I don't foresee you know me be still being employed. So I'm doing everything I can to make sure that we have the best team. Uh, to win football games. I mean, that's as simple as, uh, you know, I can be on it. Fournette tweeted out a message this afternoon thanking the city and Jaguars fans, thanking the Jaguars organization and his teammates for their support, calling them, quote, family for life. One more note, Doug Marone did say today that this was not about any sort of locker room issue or legal issue. It was simply that Fournette didn't fit what the Jaguars wanted to do on offense. Remember, they have a new offensive coordinator, Jay Gruden. We'll see how it all works out on the field when they get out there on September the 13th to kick off the season. For now, we're live at TIAA Bank Field, Cole Pepper, Channel 4, the local station.